It seems that the men and women's basketball teams at CMU prefer to live in harmony with one another. Recently, when one team goes down, so does the other. Last night, the Mavs welcomed conference opponent UC Colorado Springs. I'm just going to tell you, watch number 13 in black here in this first clip. It's Matt Heyman for Colorado Springs. Good to keep the ball in bounds at first. But then, remember, keep an eye on him. Number 13, there he is with the alley-oop. That was filthy. Spell that one with a PH. Then it's Michael Bear for the Mavs. He's got all three of that one. Bear was two for two from beyond the arc last night. Here's his other one. Clean stroke from the corner coming up here. Oh, that was pretty. Mesa with, he led, Bear led Mesa with 18 points and 10 boards. Then Colton Bergen netted 17 off of the bench for the Mavs. He's down low here with the cleanup. He added six boards and two blocks in his effort. The Mavericks cruise to a win, 75 to 50 year final. Mesa improves to eight and six overall and six and four in the RMAC. The women's side of things, the Mavericks taking on a nine and five UCCS team. Mesa held a six point lead at halftime, but UCCS making a run here. Lauren Wolfinger from the corner. That one puts the uh, Mountain Lions up by one. On the other end though, Katrina Seltzer. She's got some range herself. She buries it. 37 to 33 Mavs at that point. Seltzer had 14 and eight on the night. This one was the best all around play of the night for the Mavs. Seltzer with the snag on the defensive end. And then she takes it down court, finds Hillary Duncan on the other way to the basket. Mesa had eight steals in the contest. Kelsey Siegel had the high mark of the night with 25 points. Check out Siegel with the sweet baseline J. Uh, nothing but net. CMU rolls on to the 64-49 victory. That improves their conference record to 6-4 overall, getting a huge monkey off their back after three straight losses to start the new year. It feels great to win finally. Um, we've been struggling lately, just getting out of that funk, and it feels wonderful to get out of it finally.